What is going on everybody? Christian Ballard here with Ballard Sports Media coming at you again today with another 2020 college football preview video and up today a team from the east the South Carolina Gamecocks. I say team from the east I mean the SEC East. They are in the east though the southeast as you can tell because they're well in the southeastern conference I guess so anyway you look at uh, South Carolina, and they're still putting up with Will Muschamp, or if you listen to Paul Feinbaum's show, we call her Cat Daddy. Oh, Columbia, Will Muschamp. Yeah. Uh, so you look at them. Will Muschamp is a coach that I, I don't even know what to say. He's 26 and 25. As a head coach overall. Now, oh, that's a pretty close record. 26 wins. Not too bad, I guess. Um, he's been the head coach at South Carolina um, since 2015. He started out in 2016. Uh, you know, he took a 3-9 and nine team to a 6-7 and seven record um, with a ball loss in his first year. Um, you know, and then he improved to 9-4 and four his second year. But but then it just, it just has gone downhill the past couple years. Um, he enters now, I think, his fifth season. So, like, fifth year. Um, and I mean, they are just terrible. They they finished four and uh, let's see, I guess four and eight last year, and their only wins were the uh, Charleston Southern, uh, Kentucky, at Georgia. <laughs> What went wrong there, Bulldogs? Let me know. Uh, and then Vandy. So, I guess a win over Vandy, I, I mean, for South Carolina, it's good, right? But Vandy is Vandy. Kentucky, I mean, you try. Uh, Charleston Southern, a nobody team. That was at home. So... And listen, listen to this. They're still going to keep Will Muschamp even after a 4-8 and eight season. <laughs> oh, man. But but say whatever you want to. Uh, you don't know what you're going to get out of them. Uh, you know, had you played a cupcake the week you played Alabama, um... You know, you could have had five wins, I guess. But you look at uh, what they did. Uh, lost 24-20 in the opener against North Carolina. Beat Charleston Southern. Lost two straight to Bama and Missouri. Beat Kentucky. Beat Georgia. Lost to Florida. Lost at Tennessee. Beat Vandy. Lost to Appalachian State. Lost at Cal Field to the Aggies and lost to Clemson, 38-3. Um, so, I, I mean, that that's, a, that's what their 2019 schedule looks like. Now moving on to 2020. Open up with a couple cupcakes. Coastal Carolina week one, that's a home game. East Carolina, that's another home game. Then you have Missouri... Um, come to town. Uh, I mean, so there's that. I think in my Missouri preview video, I'm pretty sure I picked Missouri to lose this game. So, you know what I think about that. At Kentucky, at Florida, Tennessee, um, then you get a bye week. Then you play Texas A&M. At Vanderbilt, home against uh, Georgia. So 
jump with that. I had to do something real quick. Um, where was I? Uh, oh, I know I'm previewing South Carolina, but okay. So just a quick recap. Uh, you know, really just going through the season. Uh, Coastal Carolina week one, East Carolina week two, home against Missouri at Kentucky at Florida, home against Tennessee by week, home against the Aggies. Uh, which is your cross-division opponent outside of your cross-division rival. Um, or actually, I guess... Um, I guess a and M's your cross-division rival. My bad. Uh, at LSU would be your uh, uh, cross-division opponent. Uh, but you get A&M at Vandy, home against Georgia, at LSU... Home against Wofford, and then at Clemson. So when I look at this, you could obviously pick out the losses, but I'll get into that in a little bit. I think that they do, uh, I, I mean, 5-7 and seven last year, right? I could see them improving. They had a couple matchups last year, unlike this year, where it was not necessarily in their favor. They had a game that they should have lost, but didn't. That was at Georgia. Um, could they improve? Yes, I think so. Um, we remember Ryan Holinsky, um coming in to take over for Jake Bentley, who has been there way too long. I don't even know where he is right now. Does anyone know where Jake Bentley is right now? He's not at South Carolina, that's for sure. There's no way. He's at Utah. He is at Utah. I feel like he's... I've been hearing that name for many years. Right? Well, okay. I take that back. Maybe I'm overreacting. Because it says he's been there. He was at South Carolina 16, 17, 18. And of course... Last year, 19. He transferred after the season. Now he's at Utah. But uh, Ryan Holinsky uh, is the guy who, for the Gamecocks. I don't know who they have outside of him. But anyway, with that being said, uh, look at this schedule. Open up with some cupcakes. First two weeks. Missouri's not necessarily a cupcake. Um, I think... I think they will win their first two games. If they lose to either one of those teams, I don't care how close of a loss it is. Oh well, we only we only lost twenty to twenty three, or uh, we only lost twenty one fourteen. Only one score. I don't care. You lost to middle school. Those aren't even high school. Those are middle school. What? You're gonna embarrass the SEC. You lose those teams. I think you you know better, and I think you're going to make us proud and not lose those games. Missouri comes to town. You lost to them last year. Um, that was on the road. You get them at home this year. It's early. I think uh, you could pull this off. I think you could beat Missouri at home. It will be close. They've. I mean, it's... I feel like they've been kicking you guys in the butt for years and years and years. I think they have. You guys have uh, actually beat them in recent years, though. At Kentucky, this is at Kroger Field, or Kroger Field, yeah, in Lexington. I think it'll be close. I'm, I'm Kentucky's going to be favored. I don't know about how much. But I'll take the underdog here. I, I, I could see you winning your first four games. You, you're going to have a great start to the season. And you're going to get your hopes up. And it's going to be like, yay, yay, Will Muschamp's our guy. A trip October 3rd. After coming off a road win, you get to go on the road again. Yay, let's try to win on the road two in a row. Kentucky and then Florida. You know where Dan Mullen has his program competing, but not quite there in the East. 
against Georgia. They cannot get past Georgia. But yet, they will still be supreme in the East, at least number two. You will lose at Florida. Your season won't be over. That'll be your first loss. But let's just let's just keep walking down the road. Come off the loss to Florida. Tennessee comes to town. Tennessee is at home for you guys this year. Uh Home, home for you guys is what I'm saying. It, it's in um, Williams Rice. You lost to them big time last year. I don't see how you're going to improve much this year. Tennessee's going to be a great team. You lost to them 41 21 last year. It might be closer, but I think Tennessee prevails in the end. Then you get a bye week. You get a bye week. After coming off. Two straight losses with Florida and Tennessee. You get a bye week. Come off that. You got A&M at home. This is a game. And I already did an A&M preview video. I th I'm pretty sure I picked A&M to lose this game. And I picked um, uh, South Carolina to win this. Because it's on the road. And I really. I mean. You got to look at the schedule for A&M. If you missed the A&M preview video, go back on my channel and watch it. Uh, I'll explain it all there, but you're losing, or you're actually, I'm sorry, you're winning against A&M. At Vandy, whoo, this will be good. It, man, if you, lose, if you lose to Vandy, you can kiss Will Muschamp goodbye. I know you guys want to get rid of him. Why they haven't, I don't know. Um, you'll beat Vandy. I have you beat beating Vandy. Uh, Vandy's terrible. You'll be coming off a good win at home. You go on the road, and I think the A&M win will be just enough to where you could uh, continue forward and um, at, at least try to win. Then, ooh, November 7th, mark it down on your calendars, ladies and gentlemen. Mark it down. George is coming to town. Oh, man, you you think you're going to go in there? <laughs> we beat you guys in Athens last year. We beat Georgia in Athens. <laughs> they got rid of Jake Fromm. You should be worried. I don't know who Georgia's quarterback is going to be, if it's going to be Dwan Mathis, Jamie Newman, Carson Beck. Carson Beck, a five-star freshman recruit. Maybe he's four star. I'm pretty sure he's five star. Could win the job. I think it's gonna be Jamie Newman. Regardless of who's that quarterback, I think Georgia learns from last year's loss and they beat you at Williams Bryce. And then the reigning defending champs of LSU will uh host you guys in Baton Rouge. <sighs> it's loud there. Whether it's a night game or not, it's loud there. That's a loss right there. That That is a loss. Two straight losses. Then, Wofford comes to town. A cupcake high school, middle school, elementary, peewee football team comes to town. Should be no problem there. You can't mess that up. And then, your rivalry, the Palmetto Bowl in the Palmetto State. But... It's in enemy territory in Clemson this year, so of course I'm picking Clemson. What are you crazy? Like I'm gonna pick South Carolina over Clemson. Everyone's picking Clemson. They're one of the best. They're they're tied. Um, or no, they're not tied. They're the second best program in America. All right. Uh, with Alabama at number one. All right, fine. You know, I'm gonna say it. They're tied for number one with Bama. Okay, they both have two titles. Playoff appearances are the same, yada yada, right? Uh, two and two against each other as well. So with that being said, we're looking at a 7-5 and five record for South Carolina this year. They went 5-7 and seven last year. I think the record will flip on them. So they do improve. Don't... don't be surprised if it's worse than that. I I just have a feeling that 
you know better, and you will improve a little bit. Ryan Olinsky comes back. He's got some experience. Um, I'm curious to see what it looks like without Javon Kinlaw on the defense. Uh, he got drafted this year. I'm trying to remember who drafted him. Um, who did Kinlaw go to? And there goes my clock. Javon Kinlaw drafted by the 49ers. So, anyway, with that being said, again, you improve. And the record for the South Carolina Gamecocks in 2020 will be 7-5 and five losses at LSU, at Florida, Georgia, at Clemson, and home against Tennessee. Um... Possibly six and six, depending on what happens with a team like Fandy or A and M. Uh, but uh, I don't know. You guys improve, and you flip your record from last year, which was five and seven, and you can make a bowl game. Will you win the bowl game? I don't know. We'll see who you're playing. But I, I expect you to do a little bit better this year. Uh, probably still not going to save Will Much Champ. Well, it might. I don't know, but we'll, we'll have to see. Anyway, that's it for this video. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Really would appreciate it. I do college football. I do baseball. I do basketball. I know it's tough with the pandemic and there not being any sports, but as we're slowly getting back into reality and everything, being able to go places, stuff's opening up and all that, Hopefully, we're slowly getting back to some sports, if anything, at least baseball. So, hopefully, I can do some more content pretty soon. But, uh, anyway, that's it for me. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching. South Carolina fans, tell me why I'm wrong. Tell me why you're going 15-0, blah, blah, blah. Must champs the guy. <laughs> all that stuff. But, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, Battle of Sports Media. Check it out. Y'all have a good one.